Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you my radio and clock collection as of, um, September 16th, 2021. Yes, you heard me. Oh wait, wait, look at this, Young Kipper just started today. I never knew that. Anyways, today I'm going to show you my collection of clocks and radios. Um, yeah. Let's start off right here with these two clocks. Um, okay, let's start off with that one. This is my, um, cannot think of the name for this clock. I got this, uh, about, I think almost last year. I have no idea. Um, it, it worked, but the thing, the thing broke for it. Um, other than that, it still works good. Next, I got the Capello clock. I got this also a year ago. But yeah, works good. Amazing radio. You can change the dim on it, which I like about it. But yeah. Next to that is the my sharp. Uh, is it a sharp brand? Yeah, if it is a sharp brand. Alarm clock. I got this about, I think two years ago, two and a half years ago. But yeah, works good. It's nice. Next over here, my um, uh, dual time chronograph waterproof watch. I got this about a year and a half, as you know, about three years ago, almost three and a half. Works good. The hour and the minute and the second hand probably died. Battery died. Oops, that didn't really happen. But the digital still work for it. The date still works too. But yeah. Next over here is my um, cork regulator clock. I cannot take it down because it's too short. <laughs> I got that at the Goodwill for about five bucks. Um, works good. The pendulum for some reason doesn't like to stay. That that well, that's you with. Well, that won't do my other clock. But I'm pretty sure some people have the, the same issue with the, some of their um, pendulum clock. But yeah. Okay. Now we're gonna go up to that one. If I promise God not to turn up to any Paul. Here we go. This is my homemade clock. I got this almost two years ago as um, a birthday present from a family member but yeah works good it's amazing quality Devin chime sadly i wish it did but oh well um i decorated it myself it's amazing this is my earth clock um, I got this four, I think, years ago, four years ago. I might be wrong. The tick on this thing is kind of loud. But yeah, show you the back of it real quick. Pretty much the same as all um, other wall clocks. Hold on one second. Here we go. Finally got it. Okay. Next on the other side of my air condition, we have my Lightning McQueen clock. I got this about three or four years ago. Um, it works good. 
the quality of amazing. Well, not clock at all for amazing. Um, but yeah. Works good. Nine o'clock above my air conditioning, my, um, singing bird clock. I got this about, um, three and a half years ago. Along with, like, three or four other bird clocks. One of them, which I still have at my grandparents' house. Another one else I have at my grandparents' house. I have, like, four other clocks at my grandparents' house. It's crazy. I'm actually going to go there this weekend. The back of it. I have the battery in it. I don't know why it's not chiming. Maybe because they're dead. Either that or I think it's on chime mode because the, the lights are off. That might be the reason why. But yeah. Real quick test chime. Um. Come on, we're, okay, it's on the other side. Got to hold the camera with my other hand. Oh, here it is. I'm back. Oh, here we go. Yep. And I believe that's all my clocks. Except for these three. Um, my AMFM clock. Got this about... A year and a half, about a year ago, almost. This Google clock I got about a month ago works amazing. It tells me anything I want it to. And then this wind up clock I got about three weeks ago, I think. No, why it's not working. Mm, it's really time. The reason why I got this clock was because it was wound up. It was wind up powered. In the back. Yep. Keep this above my Google clock. For whatever reason. Timer right here. Got that about two weeks ago. These watches, uh, this one I got a year and a half ago. This one I got about a year ago. Both of them which work good. There you go. Now that's a much better view. I should point the camera at that more often. Okay, now on to the videos. We're gonna start with this one. This is my, I'm only going to be showing the readers that are printing yarn. I just showed that one. This is my, um, the Bureau of One, 300. Southwest winds five miles per hour, becoming east in the afternoon. I got this in the beginning of July, which was about, uh, um, one and a half months ago. No, two and a half months ago. Works amazing. The antenna on it broke, but for somehow it gets it still gets a good signal, like you just heard. Have AM FM. I got it on one of our three. But yeah, looks good. I still actually for alert. It's okay. It's even for this Wednesday's weekly test. But yeah, we know how it works, and it is that battery. This one don't have batteries in it. <clears throat> this one, this is my um, solar crank CR1009. Got this about half a month ago. I don't know why the screen hasn't been that been having that problem recently where I've been cutting out and then sometimes the light would like to turn on automatically for whatever reason but yeah so does that light too this is my weather station I got on my birthday of this year 
Wow, you just saying flashing earlier that you're going to be a thunderstorm with hot, high wind. When I checked outside, it wasn't even cloudy. And now you're showing that's only going to be mostly sunny. Wow. Anyway, today, we're high with 95, low at 71, 85 right now. In my room, 78, mini 48%. But yeah. This is my Fanjin Fio 100 all jaw I made it for the quick weekly test. Got this um on the beginning of March this year. Works good. And the only thing I don't really like about the radar has to fade in. The speaker. Sunrise tomorrow is at 7:20 a.m. This is Noah Weather Radio Station W X K. 67 in San Antonio, broadcasting on a frequency of 162.550 megahertz, originating from the Austin San Antonio National Weather Service Forecast Office. But yeah, works amazing. Also at the MSM, this is a picture of me back in 2015. But yeah. I believe that is it. This radio used to be on my WR120, but the battery cut out. Same with this one. I don't think this one even has any batteries. No, but it doesn't. Thinking of putting batteries in this in time. A little bit. But yeah, if you don't like that, is actually it. Um for my radio and, I mean, um, radio and clock collection. Well, I finally found my badge for my lanyard for school. But, two other clocks I want to show. My world clock. Um, I got this, um, about two years ago i think three years ago maybe and then my dog kick at clock i got about two and a half years ago works good both of them work good when you can change the time zone Like, if you were to visit London, like, right now it's like 8.55, and whenever you, when, if you're in London, it's 8.55 p.m., that means in London it would be 8.55 a.m., because their time zone is like 8, I mean not 8, 12 hours ahead of us, and they're either ahead or behind us. Either one, I could be wrong. Never mind. But yeah. And that is it for today's um video. I might might not make another video for a little while. Probably for about not for about another half a month. Maybe another half a month or a month. But yeah, probably gonna keep recording till like nine. I also I actually might be recording sleep until this bird clock goes off. If it does, I'm a little behind. Um might be a little while for that one to go off. Make a video on that one. But yeah. And but I'll see y'all in the next video. Later.